All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. We appreciate you coming back once again. Got another video out here today for you guys, and it's going to be about the Polaris Ranger XP1000 Crew Cab Edition once again. This is a 2022 model, and we're going to put a rear bumper on it, and we're going to talk about that here in a second. But it, how gorgeous is this out today right now? It's a fall day. Yesterday here in Ohio, it was like 30 degrees, and then today it's short sleeve weather 74 degrees or something like that but take a picture of the leaves out here behind us it's gorgeous if you have an opportunity to come to ohio to enjoy the the leaves i suggest you and highly recommend you do it but we had a opportunity uh last uh, video we uploaded and we were working with a company by the name of a and utv pro we have an opportunity to work with them once again collaboration they sent us a, another product, which is a rear brush guard. So we're going to put that rear brush guard on today. We're going to get you some uh, install information on it, how to do it, a little detailed oriented, get you some quality reviews on, on that product. So, hey, one thing I wanted to mention, um, they are having a special for the hunting season, and all the information is going to be in the description below with the link for that, that special uh, promotion. But there's going to be a code that you need to use once you go to their website. So make sure you use that. And the special is going to go for the uh, Ranger XP1000 as well as the, the Ranger 570. So without further ado, let's get that paper out of the way. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get into this install. So I'm super excited, guys. We're going to do an unboxing here. Let me pull this right up real quick so you can see. Um, it is for a Ranger XP1000, uh, but it says Ranger Rear Bumper Guard. So this is what we're going to get. Unbox it. This is how it was sent in in this smaller box. So once you go to, you're going to have all your materials here with the instructions. And I'll go into what all you're going to need as far as um, equipment. So wrenches, all that jazz. So we're just gonna lay everything out here and we'll, everything's bubble wrapped really nice. So uh, the paint doesn't get scratched. So that's really nice. So let's get all this unboxed and we will take them out of the bubble wrap and show you exactly what we got. But as you can see, that's all it that was in the box. We'll get rid of that box. I really like this material, right? Look at that kind of finish. It's like a matte black, kind of like a, oh, what would you call it? Like a bed liner type material that's on there, like a powder coat. It's really nice. So let's get this done. If you guys see blood on here, it's because I just shot a deer. Uh, it was just a doe. We took a doe out for, for some meat, um, but we got that all butchered up the other day. But let's get this out here laid it out after i unboxed it so i'm gonna go over this with you real fast you're gonna have two of these pieces best way to do it is take your instructions out and just lay it out the way it's on the picture and in the instructions so we flip it upside down you're gonna put this one right there it'll match right up you're gonna have two of these pieces the bend goes on the outside put that one on like that the other one on the other side match this on the bottom you can see this kind of flat edge here it goes all the way across to help you um, match it up for these two middle pieces here this one and this one the best way to lay this out is the one that the end that has the nut on it the fabricated nut on there you're going to put that on the middle hole here and do that for both so let me go over these instructions have good detailed instructions on how to do everything um, so we'll go through that and I'll show you how to do it I'm not going to show you the instructions the whole time but they do separate some bolts so you have two bolts here and then separate with the other ones I'm gonna take the pack of a whole bunch of your bolts and we're gonna start putting this together you're gonna take this end piece here with this piece always hand tighten things first Put one bolt in there like so. Slide it through the hole. And I hope you guys can see this. 
think my hands are in the way, so let me switch sides here. And get it started on this side. Slip the other one through. And you can tighten it up later, but what we're trying to do right now is just get it started. You're going to do the same thing to this side, how we have both of those. And this is a pretty quick installation, guys. This, it shouldn't take you very long. You're going to take two more. You're going to go up through the bottom here. You'll see these two holes. Stick one up through there. You'll put that right there. And once again, here in the middle, you're going to have, there was two holes, one on that side and one here. You're going to stick your bolt up through the middle. Grab your piece. And you're going to go ahead and start it. No. I'm right handed, guys. I apologize. Let me see if I can't. There we go. So you guys can see. Get it started. Just like that. And we're going to go ahead and tighten these up. Um, not fully tightened, but just enough to where we can move them if we need to. This part right here, how it comes up, that is going to go. It's going to bolt on right here to these two holes. See those two holes right there? So once again, that is going to bolt right there. Your two middle sections are going to bolt. There's one hole here and another hole here, which are going to be these two right here in the middle. And this end here is going to bolt on this side right here. and actually put these in the middle to kind of give it something to hold um, because I found it a little difficult for these ends to get them where they go if it's not holding it up there if you're a one person job um, but like it, like I said again I apologize it were, the two middle ones are 13 millimeters and the it, all the other ones are well, so get this started, and hold it. And we're not going to tighten these up all the way, just enough to hold it. Bracket here, it's going to go in the middle right there, and then we're going to screw it. That's where I said, make sure you don't tighten everything up all the way because you might have to move some things around and adjust it. This is a better view on this side. Um, so we're going to take the last four bolts we have and we're going to put them in there. All right, guys. So now that we have this up in here, that's where you got to make sure everything's loose. Like I said, um, you don't want to have everything so tight that you can't move things around. But hey, don't forget while we're doing this, you're going to put these last four um, bolts in here but while we're doing that don't forget to take a look at the description below uh, for the special during the hunting season that they have going on um, it's going to be for the ranger xp 1000 as well as the ranger 570 and they do have that promo code which the link will be in the description below so we're going to get these hand tight just like this and then we'll tighten them up once we get the other stuff all right so here's a little advice on the passenger side you got this this aluminum heat shield uh, for the exhaust so that you don't have any problems with your bed you're not going to be able to get a socket in there so make sure you use just a normal wrench uh, for these ones so now we got both sides um, both of these sides hooked on we're gonna go ahead and tighten up the middle and then once we have that well not full fully tight but almost tight we'll straighten it up what I would suggest is use a level at that point get it on level ground use a level um, or you could eyeball it that's up to you I'm gonna use a level um, then we'll tighten it up torque it the way it needs to be
corked down the proper way as you can see underneath once again where everything goes I'll walk to the other side so you can see kind of how well it looks the only thing I don't like is those two bolts right there on top I wish they would have made those two um, the same color as the actual brush guard bumper so these here what I'm talking about um, those kind of stand out silver there I would have liked to have seen those black other than that I like it it's real sturdy everything lines up real nice yeah let me know what you guys think about it all right everyone that's a wrap we got it all installed so it went really well no problems um, hope you guys enjoyed it number one thing that we have here on the channel is making sure that we're creating content that brings a value to you guys and helping you out in your everyday life whatever that case may be so i hope that you got something out of this video and all of our other videos that are on the channel so um, special thanks to a and utv pro for sending us the product we appreciate uh, you guys allowing us to review it install it and show our viewers so i hope everybody enjoys that uh, one other thing i wanted to mention was their special hunting season offer it's a discount of 12 percent you got to use the promo code hunting UTV 12 that's hunting UTV 12 I kind of forgot it there for a minute but it's hunting UTV 12 check that out everything's going to be in the description I appreciate each and every one of you coming back to the channel don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors we'll see you